so he says. What? You know, Logan Mooch, the black racist? Yep. <laughs> yes, I know he is. He's going to be there stealing and preaching about fucking Louis Farrakhan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's gonna to pull up, you know, he's a bus driver. He's oh, going to bring the bus there. He says, you know, pull up outside and start telling all the blacks, get on the bus, get on the bus. We're going to go march. Oh. <laughs> but will he make them sit? Will he make them sit in the front or the back? <laughs> He'll probably put me under the bus. Who knows? <laughs> back over you and pull back over you. Oh, well, he's man. a good singer, the Mooch. He's what? He's a decent singer. Is he? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you have a, you have an interesting uh, f- some interesting friends on uh, on Facebook and they're. Politi- oh, that I do. Their political views and uh, their their jaded racial opinions. Oh, he's a clear. He's a he's a he's a he's a he's an out and open racist. <laughs> he hates white people. Likes me, but he hates white people. He hates white. He likes no, you because you just hate, hate you hate no, everybody. I don't, so I don't want to start that rumor. I don't. I don't believe he hates white people. I think he just looks for anything to to bitch and complain about. When it, when it hurts oh, it's like that. What that? Who's that other guy that? It's like that. Uh, Jake. Uh, w- William Lawrence Hamilton. Really? Oh my God! Do you see his posts? I swear. I told him. I, I was like, dude, you need a hobby. I'm like, because he literally sits on. Oh, he's in Facebook jail. He just made a secondary page. Sounds like you. Um, I was gonna say because I haven't. I'm friends. No, I'm not friends with him. I thought I always was. Yeah, he his literally every post is something anti-Trump, anti-military. He might be friends with my other page, and I don't really go on there, so I don't know. Yeah, he's got Obama as his cover photo. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Which he, he's he's funny, and he takes it for a joke. Because I'll say, you know, I'll say something. Uh, he, I think he po- somebody posted a picture of uh, Starbucks coffee. Was it wasn't him, and uh, it had milk in it. And I was like, yo, I'm like. You're a sellout. Why didn't you get a black? And you know, he took oh, it for a grain of salt. He thought it was funny. I which was 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 funny because I like you know we can joke about stuff like that. But some of these people are just like out of their minds. Yeah, I think they make it. I don't think racism is a big of a problem as some of these fucking idiots make it out to be. Well, it's, it's the problem is it's social media, Joe. I mean, people sit on social media and they they literally just Google stuff and they just keep posting it on Facebook over and over again just just to try to bang home their I, you know the thing is I noticed I noticed some of these guys that talk on social media will never ever say to somebody things out in the real world with me I don't give a fuck <laughs> well I don't care it's look they always we always said growing up that if you don't say don't say anything behind someone's back that you wouldn't say to their face. So, That's right. Obviously, I, I, you know, you're worse than I am. I mean, I, I have a very little filter. You just don't have a filter at all. So. But Kevin, why should I? The people that, <laughs> the people pay my fucking rent, or my, excuse my mortgage, they put food on my table. You know what I mean? They pay my car payment. Do they? they if, if I was starving, would they feed me? So what do I give a fuck what they think? I'm not. I'm not saying that you need to because give a shit. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're gonna go back to their house and mm-hmm. not give a fuck about what I'm doing in mine. So who gives a shit what they think? Well, I, I mean, look, people think, and people say, you know, obviously we've seen it on Facebook a thousand times that. They think you're overly critical of certain views when it comes to wrestling, and but again, that's just opinion. Who says that? Come on, really? Who says that? I, I don't know. Is that how many times did you post something about like trash and <laughs> trash and really bad wrestling, and the the comments that pop up are just you know like. Who are you to, to comment? Who are you to do this? You know, I, I, I even... Oh, I'm not going to say her name because she's going to call me and yell at me. <laughs> oh, who is it? I'm going to message it to you. 
but you can't say it. Remember, well, I bet you remember when she said, you know, oh, she, she's harmless. <laughs> You know, which, you know, people see that and they're going to, you know, I don't, I, look, I, nobody needs a, an unwarranted opinion about them. Like, yeah, I, I, I understand. But that's different, though. That's, she was defending somebody, to, I guess, as a friend or whatever, but that's, that's not, that's not me being critical of us. That's me talking about a situation. Right. So, I can't believe, like, for seriously, did you, did you watch wrestling at all tonight, Raw? No, was it bad? Well, I only watched. Well, Paige came back, so that was the only thing I cared about. But it, it's funny you get all these wrestling fans that you know love wrestling, love um, you know NXT and yada yada yada, and somebody just posts huge pop for Paige. Who are these two with her? Who are they? I didn't see it. It was um, S- Sonya Deville. No idea. The NXT girls and um, okay, there's nobody returning to the city. No, no, I mean, not, nobody. You know, that's huge name. I mean, they were. You know, one, I think Sonya Deville was a former UFC girl that became a wrestler. And uh, who's uh, considering the entire? Uh, yeah, and Kevin Matthews actually said it perfectly. He goes, considering the entire arena chanted NXT and the commentators both said their names 15 times, I thought it was explained very well who they were. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't see it. But I was just like, I don't understand. I haven't watched War. I can't tell you the last time I watched War. I, the only thing I have to do is read Evan Ginsberg's posts to know that <laughs> how Raw <role> was. <laughs> do you ever read his posts when he does wrestling reviews? No, me and, me and Evan stopped being friends about uh, five and a half years ago on Facebook. He friend requested me tonight. Speaking of Evan Ginsburg. Really? Yeah. And I mean, if I see Evan Ginsburg, yeah, we used to fight about politics all the time. <laughs> well, he's a very liberal guy. <laughs> right, but when I see him, we always shoot the shit and get along famously. It's weird. Well, some people just don't like to read stuff. You know, they don't like to read people's opinions because... Then they get tempted to answer them, and then it leads into an argument. Some people just, you know, don't feel it's worth getting into an argument about the three no-nos, which is always politics, sex, and religion. Well, I'll discuss all of them. Yeah, I know you will. You have no, like I said, no filter. <laughs> oh, hey, listen. I, I feel, listen, I, I don't... Can some of these guys go on here and um, I don't, I'm not going to keep bashing this guy tonight, but <clears throat> like so worried about pleasing or or scared to piss somebody off. It's like, dude, how do you live your life like that? It's like, be yourself, man. Well, I was we're, we're not think. afraid of that, considering the last show we did, that the episode of the Indie Super Show where we called out Mr. Dylan Hines, so we didn't have a problem with that guy's a, that guy's a scumbag. <laughs> well, you're, I, you, I told you about WrestleCade. What happened there, right? I heard that they took they took him off in his, his own state. Well, <laughs> yes, it is in North Carolina, where uh, we we were challenged to come down and fight him. <laughs> and um, Scott Wilder was supposed to bring in a bunch of guys through. Dylan Hines and Scott apparently listened to the show and did not like the fact that Dylan and Bobby threatened us to come down to North Carolina or to WrestleCade for in confrontation and he wanted no part of that drama and canceled all his bookings through Dylan. <laughs> so Dylan went around and was messaging anybody and everybody who he thought would take uh, these wrestlers to WrestleCade, but he slipped in an extra grand total on top of what the people, what these guys were asking for anyway. So he got busted there because 
obviously everybody knows what these guys get paid so why are you asking for an extra grand you want your 10 percent? that's fine but you're asking an extra grand i'm like you're out of your mind so bobby fulton had to bring all these guys in on his dime under his wrestling company's name good good fuck him <laughs> i've been doing this 40 years fuck you it's funny because it's 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 a cop out. It, it must be, it must be the people that either live down there or made their career down there. Because we've had two confrontations with wrestlers that are very famous in that area: the Honky Tonk Man and Honky uh, Tonk Head. Yeah, Dylan <laughs> Dylan Hines and Bobby Fulton and. Both of them cop it out with the I've been doing this for 40 years. What does that mean? So you've been an asshole for 40 years in this business? I, I don't understand what you've been doing this for 40 years. Why that is an, an excuse for being a scumbag? I, I don't get it. You guys from New York all think who you are. <laughs> <sighs> I, I don't know what New York has to do with it, but okay. <laughs> That's when he came on at the end, and you guys thought he was the hockey talk man. Oh, because that was, well, no, that was his, uh, first it was his brother that came on. We thought it was Bobby Fulton. <laughs> and then it was Bobby Fulton. We thought it was the hockey talk man. And then they did a whole episode bachelor. Yeah, I, I have I have that on, uh, I, have, I have that. Somebody sent it to me, downloaded and sent it to me. So. All right, what's cool is the fucking night? Um. I think that's it. I think we covered everything. Yeah, I, mean, if I would imagine we've been on for. Uh, and, and then, and then, uh, one more thing in closing, in closing this about that. One last thing about the video mm -hmm. that people upset that I pegged Vito in it, and why would I do that? Maybe sort of worrying why I would be embarrassed of it and stuff like that. Maybe people should ask why was this match even taking place. That's it for me. Good night, everybody. Take care, Joe. I'll um, sure Bye -bye. talk to you in a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was Joe Bellini, Warriors of Wrestling. They have a double show coming up December 2nd, Brooklyn and Staten Island, their 10-year anniversary show. Check them out, warriorsofwrestling.com for tickets, times, and more information, plus any special guests that will be attending. So um, that's it for me. I'm glad you guys tuned in for this special episode of the Warriors of Wrestling Q&A. And uh, there will not be, from what I was told, there will not be a episode this coming Thursday. So, everybody, help control the nitwit population and have your friends spayed or neutered. On behalf of Joey B and Warriors of Wrestling, I'm Coach Kev. Have a great night.